So we're here today, Watford Harley Davidson, uh, joined by one of my customers, one of my chapter members, my director, in fact, Martin. They're going to be helping us today do a video where we're going to go and give this new Nightster a run. And we've got the sports dress over there. So this is the new bike out that Harley have just launched. It's the, the second bike in the Revolution Max, and it's the first one to have this engine, the 975T, T being for torque. A few things they've done here is we've got some cues from the, uh, the previous Nightster from a styling point of view. If you look at them side by side, you'll see there's quite a lot of family theme going on there, but with, of course, a new water-cooled engine. So we've got 19-inch front wheel at the front there. What a good place to have a front wheel. 16 inches at the back. We've got the dual exposed shocks, single seat, Obviously, being Harley Davidson, we've got some options out there. What we've got here is a 705 mil seat height. For reference, I'm 5'7", I've got quite a short instal leg at 28. So if I sit on this bike, I can lift it up, perfectly planted both feet on the ground, so that's really good. I don't like to look at weight too much because ultimately it's about how it feels. We're not bench pressing it. Getting on it immediately feels really light. It is 221 kilos. Honestly, sitting here now, moving it, I'm not feeling any of that. We've got 95 newton meters of torque. Now, of course, torque, that's the important figure. That gives us that low down grunt. And what Harley have done is they've tried to give these that early on performance. It's not about screaming top end brake horsepower. This is about getting going off the line and feeling that early punch. We've got 11.7 liters of fuel in the tank, which is down here. This is just the air box. It's a cover over it. Now that works out to my calculations with the uh, 46 miles per gallon that Harley are listing, that this bike should do from a full tank to running out of fuel around about 140 miles. What we'll do now, we'll move over in front. We've got the sports dress. This has been out a little bit longer, but we're gonna take this as well because we, we haven't really done this yet. The weather hasn't been there. And with the Sportster S, what we've got is this is the second incarnation of the Revolution Max engine. This is the 1250T. Now the T being torque, what they've done here is they've dropped the horsepower to 125 from the 150 area uh, of the Pan America. And again, the reason behind that is just to give it that low down torque, that low down punch that gets you going off the line, that helps with the overtakes. It's not about high end revving, though you can do it if you want to, and it does get down the road pretty quickly. Weight wise, what we've talked here is only seven kilos heavier, 228. Again, same sort of thing. We're not really feeling that weight because it's so low down. You'll notice now that whilst I am flat footed, I'm probably more at the end of my leg length. Uh, I haven't got much left on that. But again, at 28 inside leg, I'm absolutely fine. Tank wise, it is 0.1 of a litre difference. So not a lot there. And fuel economy, it's actually identical. So again, you should be looking at something around about 100, 120 miles before you comfortably fill up. But at that point, you will have a little bit of fuel left. So this is Rob, uh, he's joined us today. He's uh, the owner of his second Harley now. He bought his first one from us, uh, 2020, was it Rob? 2019, 2020, uh, 20, on the 20, 20, 20, yeah. Uh, he came in to buy one bike, got excited, bought a different one. He then came back thinking, I need a new Harley. Came back to buy the first bike you were gonna buy, and then bought a fat boy. Yeah. Um, so uh, what we know from that is he's not particularly decisive, but he does definitely know when he wants something. So. Um, Rob hasn't ridden either of these bikes. I haven't ridden the Nightster yet, but I think we're going to end up with you starting on the Nightster. That was the key pick, you went Nightster. Yep. So Rob's going to go on that first, and during the ride, we're going to pull over, swap bikes, so we can try and get a really rounded view on it. Anything you're looking forward to on this? I'm just looking forward to getting on the bikes, because they look fantastic. Um, they're smaller, obviously, than the bike I've got now, yep. but I, I'm just eager to get on them and feel what they're like to ride. I feel uh, like that was a perfect cue to say, should we just thank Martin for coming along and joining us, and should we go and ride some motorbikes? Thank you, Martin, for coming along. And let's Martin, ride some chapter director, love him to bits. Thanks for volunteering, dude. Uh, we're going to go and ride some bikes.
we stopped for a swap of bikes actually here at uh, Tring Reservoir. Well, that's a good first stop. I thought what we'd do now is just have a little bit of a look at some of the other details on the bike. Uh, both of them come with this. We've got the, the mode switch, and what that does is it, it transforms how the throttle performs uh, and it alters the traction control and the ABS to suit what you're doing. So I've just ridden here now uh, in sport mode. Reason for that, purely because I quite like that quick acting throttle. It suits my riding style. Uh, equally, I could have put it in rain, and with rain, you get a longer twist to the throttle, giving you more control for precise movement. Uh, and it also makes the traction control a lot more, a lot more sensitive to, to a loss of traction. So it's aware that there might be a, a problem with the road, poor cohesion, etc. And the ABS is, is matched to that. And then in the middle of those two extremes, we've got road mode, just your normal one. And the beauty of this, I think, is you set it to what suits your environment and how you want to ride. And it's really lovely that not only can you do that on the Sports Duress, the bike they bought out as the, uh, the Halo one, um, but also the new Nightstar. We've still got that same opportunity and that same option. We've got the mode button there, just really to set the bike how you want it to be. With the Sports Duress, was a bit cheek in the way here. It has got cruise control. Uh, it's one of those things you don't think you need until you've tried it on a bike, but coming down the A41, uh, I've had an enthusiastic life. Got a couple of problems with this elbow, but it's nice just to be able to take it off the throttle. Really good. We're going to swap now. So I'm going to take this Nightster, my first ride of the Nightster. We're going to put Rob on the sports dress. He's been loving this, so I'm reasonably confident he's going to love that. And uh, we'll head off out to some beautiful country roads and see what more fun we can have. See you at the next stop, folks. We're here, we've landed. We're at Nonna's Bar and Bistro in Woven Sands. Uh, fantastic, they're very kind enough to let us come here. Well, talk about the bikes really and have a nice little bit of lunch. Over to you, what do you think? Come on, your first ride. I've got to say, I absolutely love these bikes, both of them. Yeah. I wasn't sure because, as you know, I drive a fat boy. Yeah. So that's a big old heavy Tourer. Yeah. Um, and I wasn't sure, I've had the 48 special that I got yeah. from you guys before, which was an amazing bike. Coming back to these now, the smaller bikes again, I wasn't sure what they'd feel like but they ride beautiful. Both the bikes, uh, they've got different characteristics, each one. Really have, a lot a lot more different than I was anticipating, to be yeah. truthful, and also more similar than I was expecting. And engine-wise as well, torque, I think the night stuff felt a little bit more punchy, a little bit more aggressive punchy. Whereas Low the, down early on. That, yeah, yeah okay. whereas the, uh, the Sportster's got more heavy torque in as you pick up. Yeah, it sort it's of, got of a lot transitions, more doesn't it? That's, yeah. When it really comes in, you feel it pick up and, and get going. Yeah, but they're so light to ride. So they're I was, so I was, to ride. I was really shocked by the Nightster. You know, I've been doing this job 23 years, and you kind of get used to taking big shiny stuff out. Yeah. And you know, naturally, I just sort of gravitate to Argo for the sports dress because that's the big engine. Yeah, I, I found that as well. I can't believe that. That pulls. Yeah, same that, here. The bit where we were out at the back of Wing and there's that lovely bend we were doing. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I just got such... Yeah. I, I found that this was shocking getting on that first of all, then swapping to the Sportster and then when we went back yeah. to the other bike, I still found, I mean, it's just obviously it's always personal preference, but I found that this was shockingly surprising yeah. compared to what I thought it would be to this bike. Agreed. I thought this bike would do, have a lot more and it just seemed like that bike, it's well, however they've designed it yeah. and made it, especially with the change now in the tank yeah. being the airbox and the tanks underneath. It also, the weight distribution's really good on the bike I as think, well. for me, what it comes down to, we psychologically now we get a bit twisted because we've got a lot of bikes with big engines we start seeing the, the smaller capacities as being a smaller capacity. When I started riding, that would have been a big bike. Yeah. And in my, you know, it hasn't stopped being a big bike just because that's got a bigger engine. Yeah. That's still a lot of power. I mean, it 80 is, horsepower, yeah. 
Yeah, my, my son's car is 60 horsepower and that's, you know, it's a five-seater car. That's got some serious poke to it. It handled much better than I thought it would on the twisties. Yeah. Um, that's right. We've got 32 road, degrees right. of lean and 34 degrees of lean. Yeah, that's right. But I found that handled much better than I thought. Yeah. Would that be because of the tyres as well? Because it could the, be. The sports has gone for the heavy duty, yeah. heavy tyre, whereas this has got a small front wheel. This tipped in quicker, didn't it? Yes. That you had to. Your mat, your oh, there was a little bit more way. muscling about it. Um, it. It just required a little bit more input on the bars. Essentially, that's 50% more power than that. Yeah. And only seven kilos difference in weight. Yeah. But yeah, you're absolutely right. It didn't feel like on the road. Yeah, did I it? think that's obviously the way they've designed it, uh, the way they've built the engine, the way it's laid out, the bike itself. To being on these, if I was a first-time rider, and especially first-time rider to Harley Davidson, I would feel really comfortable on that yeah. bike. It's it's got enough in it for you to get good, and uh, as both of them have. Oh, but it's not scary. Yeah, definitely. You, you feel like you're attached to the bike. Well, this one, although we're going on about the well. performance, yeah. I think it's probably also worth noting that if you were a new rider and this was your first bike, yeah. we're saying about the performance because we've been quite enthusiastic with how we've ridden. We've, we've explored what it's capable of. Yeah. But if you were to tone that right down and say that I'm not ready for this yet, I'm happy putting it in rain mode, you still wouldn't be oh, disappointed lovely. with the bike. It's, it's still, yeah. and then as your ability, your confidence, your knowledge, your experience grew, mm. the bike would have enough that it could still expand and grow with you. Everything about the bikes is pleasing. Not yeah. only aesthetically do they look really nice, they're yeah. really attractive looking bikes, the new design. Um, they ride fantastic as well. Yeah. I was just following you and I'm looking at the back of that you were on the sports dress and I'm looking at the back of it and that tyre and, and how tire. minimal the rest of the bike was there. It just looked yeah. so cool. Yeah. I thought that when I was behind you. Yeah. It looks chunky, aggressive. It's not as big as the bigger tourers and the no. bigger bikes like the my bike, the fat boy, but it has definitely got massive road presence. In fact, Absolutely. both of them have fantastic presence. That felt to me kind of very mess American muscle car. Yeah. It had that, you sat there, you're forward, you felt full of attitude on it, which, which was brilliant. That didn't make me feel the same, but I just, I felt cool on it. And, and that's why I ride. Yeah. This was the point of it's today. It wasn't bike. about, yeah. It's a sexy bike. And for a first time rider being introduced to the Harleys, oh. that, that, that I, I would absolutely love to have got my first bike being that. But Martin was saying it'd be a lovely bike to have in the garage that you could just- Like a second um, bike. Literally just pull out as a second bike. And so from that point, birthday next year, <laughs> bike number four. Space is the space is probably. Nah, space is space. I, I do think that if you're an advanced rider and you're in, in the Harley family, that these bikes as a second bike are massively fun. Absolutely. They're, they're taking you back to almost being a kid again on bikes. It, it, it completely yeah. did that. It took me back to being my early days back on my sports bikes. Where I was, yeah, okay, it isn't the same performance, but I had the same feeling yeah. that I was picking nice lines where it felt like nice lines through the bends, it was flowing. Yeah, it felt and I felt fun. confident in it. Yeah. And it's, it's, they both got the single discs on the front, but sometimes people say, oh, you know, I, I might feel comfortable, I'd rather have the twin disc. No point did I feel. Yeah, no, I, the braking you know, really really was them, really yeah. good. So the key thing, I suppose, you know, and being here today is to say that these are our demos. Um, they are available to be ridden. The purpose of putting a demo on is for you know, customers, it's great for us to come and do this. And believe you me, I'm, I'm having a fantastic day today filming this and out with a couple of good guys. But the purpose of these is for you folks out there that are looking to have a ride, looking to see, is this your next bike? Is this your first bike? Is this gonna fit what you want it to do? We can sit and talk about it all day and we probably will carry on for a bit longer. But I think the key thing here is, if you wanna have a test ride, you know, I'm, we're Watford Hardy Davidson, but any of our lean sites will have these on demo. Please uh, reach out to the sales teams there, get yourself booked in, have a go and see what we're talking about. I really think you're gonna love it. The thing that I'm taking away from today more, because I, I knew I was gonna enjoy the sports dress. I've ridden it briefly, I knew I was gonna like that. I've gotta be honest, a little bit of prejudice thinking, oh, I'm not so sure. I'm, you know, I'm, I rode that nice and it blew me away. Yeah. And it definitely does not. We, we spoke, it, you know, effectively that the book ends the range now. We've got the, the sports dress, it's the, the newest in the market on the 1250 front. It's the one they describe as their halo. The nicer is the, the, the entry level, but that does not feel entry level. No. That doesn't ride, it doesn't perform, it doesn't handle, it doesn't no. feel, no. everything about it 100%. felt a solid, proper, well-made bike in its own right. It didn't feel like a poor relation to anyone in the range, and it more than held its own today. Yeah. More than held yeah. its own. Thanks for, for today as well. Oh, today no, thank out. you. It's been thank a fantastic you. day. I like to think I can do a lot of things with bikes, but one thing I, I know I can't do is ride two yeah. well, at the same time. So I know I've tried. No, I've tried. It, it didn't oh, work. Yeah, no, it was <laughs>
Yeah. Uh, so thanks for coming along. I yeah, really yeah, appreciate cheers, it. And, and, um, guys, 100% get down to Watford. Linda Harley. Uh, so we've just had to stop. Uh, apparently, uh, we're using the excuse because the food turned up. Nothing to do with Dan's battery going flat at all. Definitely all just down to the food, I'm being told to say. His battery went flat. Um, so you were just saying nice things about us. And yeah, I still I want to just highlight that I appreciate you saying nice things. And I'm happy for you to say again now that there is a battery. But we did agree that I'm not going to pay you to say nice stuff. So just because you said it doesn't mean that I'm paying you any money, OK? That wasn't okay. a contract form. Well, I'll happily say it again, and this is not because I'm being paid. I'm not paid. You're definitely not being paid. No, is that the uh, massive thank you to the guys at Watford Thanks, Lind. Yes. Fantastic guys down there. If you're either in the market for a bike, or you're new to the bikes, or you're just coming to the family, you've got to get down to Watford. Craig especially, They're, the whole setup there is amazing. They've got an enormous range of bikes and knowledge, and that's what drew me in there when I first went there, and really convinced me to get into the uh, sports range, which I started on. Uh, but I definitely think you should get down there and see the guys. They're, they're ever so friendly Cheers, and helpful. Rob. Appreciate yeah, that, mate. Honestly, thank you. yeah, thanks. Thank thanks, thanks no, no, mate, well, we, we, we care, though, don't we? That's the thing. We do this because we care. Now that you're welcome. Should we tuck in? Absolutely. Let's see. We're good to go. That's a wrap. <laughs>